Good evening. First, I'm coming on to say there will be no live sale tomorrow. But the exciting news is I went to the 301 Endless Yard Sale. Um, it's 100 miles long. It goes from the Virginia border in Weldon down to Dunn, Weldon, North Carolina, down to Dunn. We did not hit the whole 100 um, miles. We only went about maybe like 40 miles. And I was going to just show you some of the hauls, some of the items that I found. Some of them was fantastic, okay? So uh, what am I going to start with? I'll start with this. This is cute. This is really nice. This is one of the better finds. It is this uh, Jim Shore Disney. It's uh, 100 Years of Laughter. I paid $6 for this. $6. And I see they're selling upward. Um you know, over a hundred and something. So that was a great find and it's in perfect condition. It even still had the hind tag. And excuse all the noise you hear in the background. I'm outside today. I just decided it's such a cool evening. It's really nice outside. So I'm outside of my studio where I normally do my shows. And then also I found this here. And I looked this up, and it's by McCoy. And this is a, um, it's number 253. It's considered a canister. So that was a good find. And it's hard for me to say how much some of it cost because one guy gave me a super deal. I paid like $35 for a bunch of stuff. So what I'm going to try to do is show you everything that I got from him. So that was one thing that I got from him. This um, electric wreath, and this is from 1953. Hold on, I'm going to tell you more about this one. Let me just hit see all downloads. Um, Cobalt Blue, Mickey. Hold on, I forgot how much this one was. This is from 1950s, from the 50s, and it's by uh, Tim Co. It is a cellophane electric wreath. And it was neat that the box was still in mint shape, was really in good shape. Uh, good, really good condition. And this is what the wreath looks like. I don't think it's ever been used because look how neat the cord is still wrapped in everything. So this is a great vintage Christmas box. And I know a lot of you collect uh, Christmas, vintage Christmas. So that was a great find. Um, I'm holding up everything that I got from him. And all of this stuff is it was $35. This is something that I never seen before. It is a 24 inch Raggedy Ann. And this was came out in 19, um, what, 1973. It's by Bob Merrill. And these are all of her original clothes. She even had her original shoes still on. This guy had a ton of stuff. I mean, he had a lot of stuff. And I got this doll here. I just need to kind of fix her hair a little better. But she had the one ponytail. Usually these were from like the 40s or so. And then I'll sew up her dress and everything. I might even make her a new dress and put this dress up under it. And she's kind of big. She has little felt shoes on and stuff. So that was a good find. And this doll here. This is by a company I had never heard of. It's Plated Mold. And this was put out in 1961. And these are her original clothes and everything. I just think that's such a cute little outfit. Of that this vintage um <laughs> even flow baby bottle who remember how many people remember those <laughs> so i i don't know a year on that uh this little cobalt blue um it's a little rabbit it's a toothpick holder and they sell for about 14 dollars on ebay but it's just a cute little toothpick holder. It's like a cobalt blue. 
I got a couple of these from him. A little Shirley Temple, little pictures. I thought this one was real different. It is a um, oil lamp. And he said he had broken the top, but I like the amber-like color of it. Some of this is the oil that is faded, but it is kind of an amber color. And I had personally had never seen an amber colored one. Let's see what this is. Yeah, I got this from him as well. This is real dirty though. I got a couple pieces of milk glass from him, but I thought it was really pretty. This is the base and this is the top like a little candy dish, covered candy dish, or you could use it for almost anything. But you can see it was it's real dusty and dirty. So, And I haven't cleaned any of this stuff up yet. I just picked it up, brung it home. But once I take it in and clean it up, then I tend to forget to do a lot. I mean, to do the haul video. This little uh, celluloid doll. But look at them eyes at side eye look like hmm and this is about maybe five six inches tall this was filled with junk actually but i bought it for the little case it's a bobby and midge uh travel pals case it's not in the best condition i'm going to see how much i can actually clean it up inside of it was a bunch of wasted space was rags and stuff. Oh, I didn't look this up. It's a cute little cobalt blue cup. Child's cup. It's like a little bear on that. Well, I guess it might be a dog in a little basket. And on this side is a cat in a little basket. So I forgot. I didn't look that up. So I don't know who that one is. But that was inside of here. Well, I put it in there. It's not like that. Uh, another one of the, uh, this is just a Shirley Temple little cup, the cobalt blue. Uh, this duck planter. And this planter is by, it's made in Taiwan and it's copyrighted by Holland Floral Incorporation. But it's a cute little duck planter, probably from the 70s. With two of these uh, pink, I guess it's some type of depression glass, little sherbet dishes. Found two of those for him. You see, I got a ton of stuff. I thought this was a well-spent $35. So it's two of those. Lay that down carefully so that don't break. This adorable little, um, these little yellow birds. I haven't really looked these ones up yet. They do have some numbers on the bottom. So I thought that was neat. Okay, let's put that up. Another one of the red, uh, blue, cobalt, Shirley Temple little pictures. This little redware um, pig, piggy bank. And it did have an old sticker on it, but I cannot read that sticker. That's my phone ringing, but I will get it in a few minutes. Um, also from him, this one here, it's like a bowl. Let's put a piece of cloth on the top of that so I can lay that down in here carefully. And the weird thing is most of the stuff was in pretty good condition, but he had like glassware and tools all mixed together and the same thing and everything. It was a mess. These adorable little uh, glasses. I got two of them. Let me see if I can put my hand on the other one. Where's the other one? Okay. 
I'll get the other one in a minute. And um, this had such a weird name. It was a, um, what was it? It's a uh, Craft Kitty Cups. And the name on it is Swanky Squid, Squeak Juice Glasses. Um, and they were out in the 40s and 50s, I think I read. And I have two. And this one has like the little, um, a pig on that side and a little bear on that side. These I thought was really cute. I have another one with a little deer on it that's really pretty. This is uh, Ted. It is Tammy's brother. And he's from 1963, I believe. And it's by Ideal Toys. And these are his original pants, believe it or not. And else? Oh, a pair of um, stagecoach salt and pepper shakers. That was in that lot that I got from him. Wrap those and stick those down in there. I'm not finished yet. I still have more. And I got from somebody else. That from somebody else. Oh, here's that other little cute glass. That's one side with the deer on it. And this side have two little squirrels on it. Oh, it's kind of hard to see and I don't have anything white out here. So that was exciting. I was very excited. And I think that's everything that I got from him. And then from another lady... I guess we went to, I don't know how many things. I didn't get anything at some of them. These two little home co-pixies. Let's put that over here. Put those in. Stopped at another sale. This is just an Avon bottle. It's like a totem pole. You can see that was like one dollar. And from this other guy, I go like, well, how much are the two little mice? And I'm getting those out now. And he goes like, uh, what about two dollars? And I'm like, uh, I'll think about it. So it's these two little mice and they're just made in Taiwan. I just thought they were cute as a bride and groom. So I go, how much is this Mickey? He said, well, if you buy these, Mickey comes with those, and it's still $2. So that's how I got this little Mickey nightlight. And this is from 1961, I believe. From another vendor, I got these cute aprons. And I guess this was presented to a teacher or something, because it has, like, all the name of a lot of teachers from the school on it. Like, this is first grade. Uh, Mrs. Garissa, and then it has second grade on that scallop, third grade, fourth grade, all the way up to fifth grade. Then it has the music teacher's name, the art teacher, the librarian, and everybody on there. So that's a nice, it's kind of an organdy type fabric, or organza, one of the others. We got that one. And then this cute one here. This one has a couple of stains on it, but since it was white, mainly white, I thought maybe I could work and get the stains out. So I'm going to try that. From someone else, who knows who that is? It's a George Bush doll. <laughs> and he does talk or something. I probably need to check to see what type of batteries it takes. So, oh wait, did he just make a noise? No, that's just the box is loose. And what is this in here? I think this dress here, this came from, this was in one of the things in the Barbie case. This was probably the only thing that was salvageable, salvageable that, I mean, that I salvaged and kept. I think this is a Chatty Cathy dress. I'm not real sure, but I think that's who that little dress belongs to. And also from, uh, did I get that from him? No, from this guy here. I got this lamp here. 
It's hand painted lamb with a marble base, but I've never seen one with this going around it, which I thought was nice. And then it had that one type of globe, almost like a lantern, like an oil lamp kind of thing. And there's no marks or anything on it, but I thought that was nice. And he told me he gave me that for $2. Turn that around for you to see that uh, nice. So it's a one blue flower on that side and on this side. So I'll put that in my booth because that is quite heavy. Y'all know I make dolls and I've been needing to get some larger ones. He gave me those for 50 cents. And then also he gave me this beautiful dress uh, for 50 cents. And when I looked the dress up, the dress is by, um, let's see who's that dress by? I'll have to look who the dress was by because I didn't do a screen print of the dress. Anyway, the dress was like really a pretty one of the pageant dresses, uh, um, real similar to Dolly Originals, but it was by, hold on, let me look, because that's going to drive me crazy now if I don't look and see who that dress was by. Vintage Girl Pattern Dress. Okay, let me go to Etsy. And I can look from that tab there. Uh, okay, let me see that dress. Just a minute. Let me tell you who it was by. Because it may be something to be on the lookout for. Martha, Martha, Martha. Uh, where can I find that? I thought I still had it up here. Because I had never heard of this one. Let me see if I got it on here. Betty Odin, B-E-T-T-Y, Betty and Odin. I paid 50 cents for it. It's a real frilly little pageant dresses. And I see on some of the eBay sold, they've sold for up to $300. It's just a little cotton girls um, pageant like dress. So that was a great find. And um, something that I never picked up before is these little um, PJ Masks people. And on eBay, I see there's like sets of four for like, I don't know, not so much this one, this one, this one, and hold on, I got one more of those. Where are you, last one? And this one. So these four here, some people have them for as high as $48, and I see they have actually sold for in the 30s for these four little figurines. And this is something that a lot of times I pass up, I see these little figurines, like I said, these probably cost me a quarter a piece. And I didn't sit and continue to dig through his stuff because I was trying to hit as many places as I could. But, you know, this I knew this was PJ Masks, but I didn't know that these were also that till I got home. And they are called, um, hold on, let me tell you what these are called. Wolfie Villains. Um, So, like I said, these three, these four here is like in the $30s and $40 range. So, and that was my haul. And the, oh, look, one last thing. That's really cute. These are some vintage. I'm not sure if they're Whitman because some places on eBay say Whitman and other ones say they're Parker Brothers. But look at these old made cards. I'm going to show you some of them. They are hilarious. Look at that one. And I have most of them was in there. This is Sadidity Sal. Look at that one. And I'm trying to get down to the old maid. This is Gloomy Gus. Oh, here's the old maid. She looked like she's a flapper. So these cards are from like 30s, 40s maybe. And look at her. I don't think they put these out for children. I wouldn't think. So I had most of my, it was, I think it was 17 or 18 sets where I had the mate to them. And on the back, they look like playing, playing, playing cards. It's another one that I think is real. This is uh, Hattie Hatter.
This is Stepping Sam. So if you put them in on eBay, vintage Omega cards, if you put in Black Americana, then you they will probably come up. That's how I found them. This is 2D Tudor. Aren't they the best images on these cards? They're great. I really love these images. Look at this one here. This is Flighty Fanny. So I'm trying to make up my mind whether I'm going to sell them as a all together or individually. Look at that one there. And this is Gabby Gob, Glob. So that's some of them. It's more, you know, cards. But like I said, I had a great time today. The sale is also going on tomorrow from 7 to 3. But the beginning of the sale, I live in Lee County, and the next county is Hartnett. But the beginning of the sale is in Hartnett, but it's like 40 miles, well, 34 miles exactly, from my house to the first sale. And then it goes all the way, like I say, to the Virginia State Line, which would be, so it goes from Dunn, is the name of the city, all the way to Weldon, uh, which is right at the state line. And like I said, they had tons and tons of vendors. We did not stop at every one of them. Some of the vendors truly had really nice antique stuff. They just had some of everything. Then we stopped, we had lunch. Uh, my cousin went with me and they messed up our lunch order. So we did get free lunch. But, um, you know, it was it was all just really a great day overall. She was ready to keep going, but it was like 91 degrees. 92 degrees out there and getting in and out of the car I was getting kind of hot so we did come on home but it was just like putting in a full work day so um, I want to thank you for joining if you like this kind of content please subscribe to my channel also hit the bell you'll be notified whenever I do a new video and also give me a thumbs up if you like it and again remember I will not be having a sale tomorrow which is june the 18th so i will not be having my noon sale i might have a sale tuesday but it kind of depends um i may have to go over to help Alyssa and them begin to pack up to move over here so but i'll keep you abreast and i will let you know okay thanks and bye bye